As most of you know, I just finished spending one whole year in Mexico. I thought this would be a good chance to reflect on some of the lessons I've learned and offer advice for anyone else who might be thinking of going to Mexico. Time for the intro. Now, before I explain these tips, I gotta tell a little story. This is a bit of a secret, actually. I've never shared this in a video before, but this past year I spent in Mexico, it wasn't my first time visiting Mexico. What did you just say? So when I was like 10 or 11 years old, my family took a cruise. It was a big family trip my dad had been planning for a long time. We flew down to New Orleans, and from New Orleans we took a cruise ship down the Riviera Maya. There's the cruise ship. That's me, that's my younger brother, that's my mom, that's my dad. Yeah, I don't know who that was. Maybe like a long lost brother. There I am again. <laughs> it's my brother, my mom. These are pictures of an archeological site. I, I think we went to Tulum, but you wanna know what I remember from that trip, from my first visit to Mexico? It was really, really, really hot and that's about it. Getting off a cruise ship, walk around a bit, and, and that, <laughs> that's, all, that's all I remember, guys. When I look back on that trip I took when I was a kid, it was pretty forgettable. And I know that's a bad thing to say. I know that was an you know, expensive trip to take and stuff, but I'm just being honest. I don't remember very much from that trip. So now that I'm older and wiser, well, maybe not wiser, but at least I'm older, I want to talk about what it is that can make your trip to Mexico unforgettable instead of forgettable. Tip number one, try Mexican food. And I mean really try Mexican food. Uh, don't just say like, oh, I like Mexican food, I like nachos, and then order a bunch of nachos and just have what you have back home. Try some new dishes, you know, Ex experiment. Or try enchiladas, try chilaquiles, try Mole poblano. Try the habanero salsa. <laughs> Picante. Uh, be careful with that one, but the, just try things that you don't normally try. Because food is like an entrance to understanding Mexico in, in so many different ways. When you start to understand the variety of foods in Mexico from the different regions, you start to understand the variety of different peoples with their own traditions. You start to understand sharing. You start to understand community. I mean, we had just got our food and then suddenly the mom just lifted up their main dish and offered it to us. And we took a bit and she was like, more, more, more. And then we took some more and then she's like offering us tortillas. And that's the kind of experience that really sticks with you. And it's the kind of experience we've had many times in Mexico. So try Mexican food and try as many different kinds of Mexican food as you can. Point number two, talk to Mexicans. This might sound like a very obvious thing to say, you know, oh, you're in Mexico, talk to Mexicans, of course. But I mean, like really have a conversation with Mexicans and see where that takes you. And one more question, what's something that you love about Mexico? Oh, the food and the people and the heart that all the people show. It's so unique and so sincere that you fall in love with this, with this country. Most Mexicans have a very strong sense of national pride. Maybe they're not happy with, you know, their government or some political situation. But pride of being Mexican? and a good sense of Mexican history and Mexican culture and Mexican society. And if you don't know about this stuff, like just talk to a Mexican and they will be very happy to share with you as long as you're coming from a place of respect. It's a pleasure to meet you, Eduardo. Yeah, nice yeah. to meet you too. So you are Canadian? Yeah, we are, we are. Um, I'm Canadian. South Korean. Oh, actually, she's from South Korea. They're from the French part of Canada. Oh. We're so like influenced and inspired by Mexican culture. We were thinking we're going to celebrate Dia de los Muertos too at home in Canada. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah, we already have our press to our own yeah. tortillas and everything at home. We do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously. My third tip for anyone visiting Mexico is to Bring an open mind. Don't think you know what Mexico is before you get there. Maybe that's the problem that I had on that first trip. 
like, like I said, I was a little kid, uh, so I'm not, I'm not being like too tough on myself. But I think that that situation I was in where you're in a cruise ship and you're arriving to Mexico and you don't know anything about Mexico or you're in a beach resort, you don't know anything about Mexico. But sometimes you think you know about Mexico. Maybe you think that that beach resort is all there is to Mexico or you think that those archaeological sites is all there is to Mexico. But really, there's so many different sides to the country that are waiting to be explored. I've got to tell you guys a story. So <laughs> when, I, when I came back to Canada, I had to talk to someone from my bank. And this guy, this Canadian guy, he, he had recently gone to a, a beach resort. And he went down there with his friends. And he noticed how expensive the beers were at the beach resort. And so he decided he was just going to walk down the beach. And he was going to find some local shop selling them for much cheaper, you know. And his friend said, are you crazy? Do you know what happens out there? People like you get shot. <laughs> and then he said to them, like, are you crazy? I'm not going to get shot. I'm just walking to get my beers. And of course, he walked to get his beers. And then he went back and he drank them. And that is, that is the point we're at with Mexico. Some people think that they're only safe within the little bubble of a beach resort or something like that. On the one hand, like you're probably gonna have a good vacation. You can have fun drinking with your friends. You can enjoy the beach. You know, you can go home and say, oh yeah, it was hot. Just, just like I remembered when I was a kid, it was hot. But you're not really learning anything about Mexican culture or Mexican, the Mexican identity. And I think if you take small steps to, to get out of that bubble, not only will the beer be cheaper, not only will your beer getting experience be better, but your entire experience will be better. You will realize that uh, Mexico is so much more than you thought it was. And so much more than most people think it is. And those would be my tips for anyone thinking about visiting Mexico. Uh, I know this is more like a, a, a way of thinking more than like bring a hat, bring sunscreen do those things too but most of all just uh keep an open mind to mexican culture mexican people mexican food keep an open mind to mexico and you're gonna have a great trip as always i'm dan for the new travel see you next time